Well, hi there, and welcome back to 3R Guitars, and <clears throat> day, goodness knows what, on getting this bridge sorted out on this guitar. Um, I've been thinking and thinking about it, and mounting this, and da 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 da, all the fuss of that, but I think, you know, take a step back and just get the bits done that I can and sort it out. And I think that the, the next thing is getting the, um, the resin cut out underneath these um, string anchor points and there's nowhere else it can be you know this is screwed in place so what I'm going to do is drill through the bigger holes and where the string goes in and get those drilled and then um, you know we can take the the tail piece off and then drill out extend the holes forwards I mean I've got to be pretty careful <laughs> so I think what I'll do is um, let me get a couple of drills. Right, what I can do is I can drill through the resin with the same size drill as the, the back string hole, the bigger one where the string goes in. I can drill through there and then I can drill again forwards with a smaller drill in the front of the slot, basically. Um, and then, you know, hopefully, because there's not really a lot of room to drill a massive hole underneath there. I mean, when I, when I did the uh, coin guitar, the money guitar, I just, you know, because the, 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 the the metal around where the string anchors are was a lot bigger I could just drill a big hole and be done with it but here I can't I've got to be quite careful so let's get this all drilled and then we can go from there okie doke and like I say it's getting a bit confusing you know considering you know having thinking about where the bridge is going to go this let's just get the bits done that I can that I'm certain of and then we can go from there Right, hi there, okay, what I've done now is um, I drilled through those string slots in the tailpiece, and I don't know if you can see these elongated holes in there now. So what should happen is you've got the ball of the string, so you should be able to push it through the large part of the hole in there and then just slide it forwards and it'll lock on the plate. Um, so I've been very careful, it's actually quite an easy job really. So I drilled a small hole in the front where I could through the keyhole, a big hole in the back. And then when I went back, when I took the tailpiece off, I drilled through with the bigger, the bigger drill. So you've got, you've got, you know, same size as the back. And then I used the Dremel just to grind the edges of the the hole straight so I got a slot. So let's screw it on now and see how how we do with the strings. I can just the one the one thing I'm hoping will be alright is aluminium is a very soft metal um, or relatively soft metal and um, you know, it, 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 I'm hoping the string won't sort of pull through it or anything. I'm sure it won't, but let's just put the screws in like that and then give it a little test. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Pull in there, so let's screw the tailpiece on. And then um, what we can do is position the bridge then. see how nice and tight these screws go in without graunching at all. This actual mahogany from this table is actually very hard as mahoganies go. I mean, bearing in mind it's God knows how old it is. You know, it could be 150 years old. We don't need the other two. But it's a very, very hard wood. 
So here we go. Um, here's the string slot now. Nice and easy to do. You can push the string in, pull it forwards, and so they all. Let's check them all. Absolutely perfect. And there's no, you know, you can't see any of the hole underneath or anything. What I did when I drilled the holes and the clearance hole for the string ball, I didn't go down through the through the the paper of the posters on the back or anything like that. So um, you know, even if you look from the side sort of thing, you shouldn't be able to see anything. So that's worked out quite nicely, hasn't it? So now the next job now is I want to get the um, bridge mounted and like I say I found this Tone Pros bridge in my my spares and I think it, you know it's going to be absolutely fine um, and there's no point in spending money on another one the only slightly different thing is rather than just having the threaded post into the um, in, 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 into the guitar body you have this insert to put in I mean it's a better bridge really I mean the ABR is a, is, is, is a pretty crappy bridge to be honest um, or the, the tunematic I know it's, it's very neat looking and traditional but um, you know you've got those fairly weak three four millimeter string posts that just go in the wood and that's it you know and um, you know they can bend about a little bit and all that and with the traditional Gibson ABRs you know they were made out of I don't think they were brass they were some shitty metal but you know over time they can actually bend down and things like that um, but so I think the modern ones are a bit better I mean this has got much more chunky posts um, you know and it's also got a grub screw there where you can lock it to the post and then you've got this insert that goes in the body. Um, so what I've got to work out now is these inserts. I want to get them in really nice and like the thing is as well is the wheel that you adjust the height on is only fractionally bigger than um, bigger than this lip on the on the insert. So <sighs> what I'm not sure, what I think I'll do is I'm going to inset this in the body under the aluminium um, tailpiece and then drill through with the smaller hole of this diameter of the threaded post. So. Um, you know, if I don't get the hole 100% accurate, you won't see like an untidy, like gap, sort of annular gap around. Um, if I drilled straight through the aluminium, I'd end up with um, probably it not fitting right, and there'd be a gap, and that the thumb wheel wouldn't cover it. So, what I'm going to do is try and mount these in. The body underneath the tail piece and then what I'll do is drill through the tail piece I don't quite know how I'm going to do this do you know what I think in the first instance let's just get the bridge on without the tail piece then worry about the tail piece after that so we know what I'm going to do we know the tail piece goes around here draw around this thing here and let's take the tail piece off just I think this is going to be very touchy feely this like uh, operation here um, but I don't really see another way of doing it. I mean, 
unfortunately with all bolt on next you've got a little bit of wiggle room um, but you do want to get it as close as you can I think this is going to be quite difficult, but yeah, it's just going to be measuring. That's all it's going to be. First of all, let's get the centres marked, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. But what I'm going to do is screw this on again, and get the the centre line marked for the bridge, and on the tape, and then try and get these posts in. Well, hi, welcome back. So, what I've done, what I did um, to get this bridge in the right position, I did the old, you know lining up the string line and all that very carefully and um, basically put the bridge in the middle of these um, comet heads sort of circle sort of thing um, so we know that they are in the right place for the length of the bridge I mean we've got 12th fret 12 is exactly there sort of thing so we knew back and forwards we had the position, it was just like the the, the north and south sort of thing. So, um, like I say, I, I positioned them with the string line sort of thing, um, by the centre of each uh, saddle, top and bottom each saddle, and back to the, back to the neck. Um, and then I use one of these brad point drills as really a centre punch. So the brad point drill is a, is a snug fit through the bridge hole there sort of thing. So you're not going to punch it off centre and it's got an, 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 an accurate centre spot there. So punch that through and then um, we positioned it and I've dr drilled pilot holes through there so we're all pretty good there. Right, hello there. I d I've depressed on with this a little bit. Um, what I've done now is, like I say, I, I drilled the pilot holes through this for the bridge after lining those bridges there, lining it up, um, after lining the bridge up. Then took that off and now I've drilled the holes for the posts, um, just where those um, pilot holes were. What I've done as well is, um, I've just put these posts in my drill press, and do you remember there was a, like a, um, a little shoulder on there? So I've actually filed the shoulder off it was like a little sort of overhang if you like so when you hammered it in the body there'd be like a uh, you know a stop like but I didn't want that because I've got this to go on top um, and I, I, I want these to be flush with the body so I've drilled these holes to the exact depth and I should be able to just tap these in now um, what I did Oh. They're actually 11 millimeters, a stupid size. There must be some um, um, imperial size, I guess, because I'm sure Time Pros are American. But um, about 11 mil, but they were still a little bit tight, and I didn't want to start hammering um, uh, these through the the resin. Um, the, uh, the risk of damage and going flat. So what I did, I drilled them out to 11 mil and then rather crudely um, held the body up to the drill press and like wobbled it about a bit just to just to get it, you know, the holes a bit more clearance. So now these should tap in okay. Um,
and what you can do these they're just above the surface still so just screw the top in quite a few threads down and just give it an extra tap let's see if that's knocked it down now nope still up that's definitely done it up and see that yeah, that's below the surface, and let's do the same here. Yep, that's fine. So that's now knock those in, and they level with the, with the surface. So this swall, this tailpiece, will go over those. Uh, so that should be good so now what I want to do is um, oh, do you know what I should have done oh, it's so annoying every goddamn time I don't think I can do anything but I want the um, the uh, I suppose I could do the earthing strip underneath underneath this but I'll have to lift one of those out again to get like when I've cut the control cavity to put a wire from there but nice secret but the way I do pull them out is if you put the the post back in with the wheel on it get a block of wood just use a claw hammer you can actually lift it and that, that bit of wood's a bit thick Let's use a thinner one See how easy you can lift them out, sort of thing. So, it's not really a problem. But so I can now drill when I've done this cavity. I can drill through there. But I want this. I want this still in. But that's gone in nicely. Um, so there we are. Well, oh, it's still a bit up. down now um, yeah so I probably actually I mean the the holes that I've drilled for these posts these things do bottom these inserts do bottom out on them but I'll probably because it's um, a resin I will put a bit of glue around them when I put the earthen wire in and, and, and whatnot so that's in there so now what I can do is measure you know these this thing should go over those exactly central considering we drilled through both um, what I can do now is drill these pilot holes out to the same clearance diameter for that thread so I'll just go and do that now and then we should be good okay live and not um, not any uh, uh, prototype runs on this let's see how well we've done with drilling these holes and whatnot so I've drilled these holes out um, so let's just go and see uh, there's one post in and what I really like is you can't see under here you can't see any gap um, perfect fit Oh, getting tight. Oh, no, I failed miserably. Oh, no, no, going in. So just had it cross threaded a little bit. Right, here we go. Well, it doesn't. Ah, there we go drops on nicely so success with that that's the tailpiece all lined up and finished now and been a lot of work been a few days work there actually but I, you know it's something unique that I like that I like so I think the next thing now 
is I'm going to actually like tape up the centre of the guitar here and then plan where the pickups are going. Now as I said before, here's um, it's just an old humbucker I've got. Um, what I'm going to do, I think I've, I've, I've made my mind up now, what I'm going to do is actually bend these feet round the other way so they point in and then put the adjustment screws in from the back of the guitar and uh, you know we'll be able to we'll just, we'll just have two screws for each pickup on the back of the guitar and um, should be able you know so we won't have to have any surround um, around the pickup because like you know I, I, I just don't want I, I, you know, I don't know I've got a thing against those surrounds but you know if I put them on this guitar you know you look down at this guitar and you put like surrounds on it uh, just think it would just look so much nicer just with the chrome pickups on so I think that would be a you know that's what we'll do and uh, go from there so now let's cover this with tape and then plan the pickup layout there and uh, we'll go from there again sorry about all this shit and mess here let's, let's get tidied up a bit right okay then I've um, dismantled the guitar and uh, taped it up um, before I took everything off I lined everything up and got the pickups where I want them um, so you know you haven't got them got the strings hanging off the edge of the poles sort of thing and I honestly thought, um, I mean, obviously, I'll be going, I, I just want to cut, you know, almost like a cover, cover sized hole, because I'm not going to have the legs of the pickup. And I honestly thought I had um, some of my Les Paul templates or my Flying V templates had just the square hole in one template and then the feet in another, but they've all got the, the feet cut in them. So I've had to, do a do a hole um, to route through and um, surprisingly difficult to get like a nice a, a nice hole you know that's perfectly square with a with a reasonable gap you know a nice little gap around it sort of thing so it, it's well worth taking your time because obviously you know the template is what the router cuts to um, so now I'll be able to place this over here. I mean, it's just an arbitrary bit of plywood, but I've got some areas to be able to clamp it down and everything. So um, we'll be good with that. Um, and then, I mean, the nice thing is if this would have been a guitar template with the uh, holes already cut in, it would have had a centre line and I could have lined it up easier. But as it is, you know, the pickup, I, I mean I drew around these pickup covers sort of thing made sure they were square so I've got that to be able to line it up on but it just means I've got to be a bit more careful um, and like I say if I knew I was going to have been making like um, three of these guitars and possibly four I'd have made a decent template in the first place which I you know I could have done all the routing on all the channels and this that and the other on you know at least the important stuff anyway um, but yeah I didn't so sell V. Um, so yeah I can clamp that now come back and um, uh, route the pickup um, cavities and uh, that'll be that bit done okie doke right here we go then I've done the Position the um, the template on, on on top of the body here um, to do the do the neck pickup route. Got it clamped down with a couple of very sturdy clamps, so it's not going to move anywhere. And I've got this bearing guided router cutter in here. The unfortunate thing is with this is like um, the min the resin is horrible to to, to work with. It's very messy. And the first cut's got to be actually quite deep for the bearing to actually catch, 
you know, I mean, this is quite reasonably thick template material, but I'm going to have to take quite a bit off for the bearing to actually touch the 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 um, template sort of thing. So let's just give it a go. Uh, I wish I had some new cutters actually, but I haven't. So. ocean of white shit and you just can't see where you're routing at all so it's a bit slow boat to China to, to actually do it because you've just got to keep cleaning it out taking my time with it and again like so you've got a mountain of this resin fortunate thing is like um, you know you're quickly through to the to the wood which is handy but yeah just take your time it's not worth buggering things up at this stage deeper because you've always got to take consideration of the legs of the pickup and so I'll definitely go deeper oh, I'm actually quite happy with that so what I'm gonna do now is obviously because this cutter has got quite a um, large radius on it I can I'll take that out and put my little little cutter in there to do the corners well hi there I'm back after routing these out I it went round the corners with the smaller router cutter and you can see that we've got a very nice um, gap for the pickup there unfortunately something happened on the on the back pickup route and I don't know what but you can see that this has like gone down there so it's not square across there and we've got a little additional cut on there and I, I really don't know how the hell that would happen um, but you know these things do happen so when I put the pickup in there you've got a slight it's very difficult to sort of show but you look we've got a slight more of a cut there and that little bit there I mean I don't think it'll show up too much you know this is not going to make people it's not going to attract the eye too much but what I can do anyway and I know it'll work is you know we've got the similar situation with the with the um, the, the, the the resin around the neck um, being because of the the, the the edging I put on for the resin that it's kind of gone away a little bit um, so I, I've got to fill there so I can fill these holes up there these are, you know bodgy cuts sort of thing up there and I'll I'll use that um, two pack resin that I've got from screw fix and I really don't think you'll notice it at all so it's not too much of a bother but at least now we've got the pickup routes all done um, which is a, you know to be honest which is a bit of a headache with this so we've got the tailpiece all done we've got the pickup routes done and um, I think that will be fine that will be really good I'm looking forward to doing the you know the, the the pickups from the back sort of thing I think that will be nice and with no surrounds at all so I think that's it for today um, I think we've done quite a lot with the bridge the pickups so next thing I've got to sort out is um, a control panel down here sort of thing and I deliberately didn't put any like raised 
images in that area, left it fairly flat and plain so I won't be cutting through any feature and equally when I plan this out with a pickup route you can see I've got this raised spaceship in there sort of thing from when worlds collide I didn't, I knew where the pickups were going to be were going to be so left the decoration fairly fairly plain there um, so yeah I think that's uh, that, 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 that's worked out well uh, maybe the only thing that I'm disappointed at is uh, when you put this on um, it covers up creature walks among us sort of thing um, but uh, hey ho you know there's a uh, it's not really a problem um, so what I might do now is just before I pack in for the day is maybe take these areas up and try and if I've got some of that glue um, put some of that glue in there and then um, we'll be okay for tomorrow yep okay cheers Well hello there and welcome back to 3R Guitars and this uh, resin top sci-fi guitar build. Um, the, the last thing I did yesterday was um, because my routing template got a bit chewed up for some reason doing the last pickup route, the bridge pickup route, I don't know what happened, um, whether the bearing seized or something or uh, goodness knows what. but. Um, we ended up with a bit of a wobbly pickup hole. I mean, it, it would have been okay. I mean, you can see the, you know, the, the 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 front pickup hole is absolutely perfect, but the back one was, um, you know, messed up. Um, so what I did was I wrapped a couple of. Um, I mean, th this looks creased up now, but it wasn't. It's only because I pulled it out but I wrapped a couple of um, layers of masking tape around it, set the set this pickup cover in and then put glue around it <clears throat> and you can see that this um, now it obviously needs tidying up but you can see that this this epoxy glue, the no more nail stuff from Screwfix does, you know, it's dead clear so you know um, cock up saved if you like so I stuck this in there put glue around the edge now I've just got to clean this up and um, that's fine I wouldn't recommend mixing up a small amount of that resin stuff I mean if you could mix it accurately it would probably be okay but it'll take days to dry and you'll just be sitting there and um, you know if you get it slightly wrong the mix because it's so small that uh, you know it won't set at all so what I can do now is is I mean this took a bit of tugging to get out but you know it, 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 it came out because I mean it's only held in by the glue of the tape really um, pulled that out so we're all good there now so I'll just get up and clean up this pickup hole and um, we should be okay some some drip down the back here so I can chisel that out and uh, let's see if this chisel is any good for well here you go here's the uh, here's the clean up I mean I've not polished it and I've, I've just sanded it back to where the rest of the body is kind of thing but now you can see that the hole is nice and square and you know we got the pickup fits nicely in there with no funny wobble bits so um, rescued that there 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 is a slight little um i don't know imperfection there on the corner but i'm i'm really not bothered i mean the pickups are going to be quite high out of there and i, I really don't think you'll notice not by the time it's all polished um so that's really good i mean the other way you've got to be a bit careful when you you know you're correcting a pickup hole like that you can quickly get things out of square so less is more be quite careful but what i could have also done was um saved this template and and like filled the where the gouges are um filled it with car body filler and then redone the template sort of thing put the template back on and routed round it again that's a that's a good way of doing it as well but anyway um, it's all done now and rescued, so not a 
not a formidable uh, error there. Um, so next, I'm not quite sure what to do. Luckily enough, um, the pickups came today, and I'm wondering whether to actually just carry on and mount the pickups. You know, I was doing that thing with bending the legs of the pickups round the other way, round the other way sort of thing, so I could um, screw them in from the back with two screws on the back. And I'm tempted to carry on with that, actually. Um, one thing I'm a bit fed up with, I haven't got enough metal to do the, to do the control plate. And, oh, hi there, here we go. Um, I've got the got the pickups and I must admit this firm are, are, are very good um, you know I only ordered them like they take a day to come basically so they're really good and they're about um, these are the iron gear um, blues engine ones I've used these before and I really I, I really like them they, they're not like I wouldn't call them like a heavy metal pickup sort of thing. They're not super overwound or anything. I think they're about um, seven, eight k windings. They're a nice rounded pickup with a very like sweet tone sort of thing. I really like them. And like I say, thirty-five pound each or something like that. Just over thirty-five pound each. Can't beat it, really. I don't think. Um, so what I want to do now is um, these angled feet, I want to bend round the other way. Now, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. I've got me little pliers here. Let's give it a go now and see if they'll bend without breaking off. It would be a shame if they did that. I mean, I would like to heat them up a little bit, but I don't want to risk doing that with the, you know, the the windings inside and stuff like that and there's a lot of plastic so just be a bit careful here it's quite a hard metal I must admit uh, yeah I don't know how much I picked up then on that video because uh, my phone went off but um, you can see I've bent these feet over on the pickups now not not as neatly as I'd have wanted but the reason for that is I actually tried to do this one neat and cracked it so I've resoldered that sort of thing um, it's plenty strong enough but like I say if you try to do this on a Seymour Duncan pickup you you kind of be a bit worried because you'd have probably spent over a hundred quid on it so um, can have a go on these and it's not too disastrous if you completely cock it up. So anyway, yeah, these now these feet just screw in, screw in there. Now oh, they got wax in the hole, but they screw in there now. So what I've got to do is somehow try and um, pick up where these holes are in the base of my pickup cavity, and um, I don't quite know how to do that yet. What I think I'll do is put tape in the bottom there and maybe try put pencil lead over these feet and squash them in and see if it picks up a witness mark or something and then I can I can kind of drill the holes. So there we go anyway. Well here you go with these pickups. I think it's going to be successful. I've Right, I've drilled some holes in the back now and you can see the pickup screws going through. In the end it wasn't too much of a hassle to to locate those screw centers. Basically what I did is I screwed the pick screwed the pickup um screws in and then just put them in the hole and pushed down and it was all right. Um so what I've got now you can see I've actually got the pickup lock mounted um, on there and I, I've, I've got to if you look just really carefully underneath you can see the screws have screwed in fine but I can imagine it's going to be like a real pain in the ass when the screws are shorter and the right length to actually you know guide them in and I, I'm, I'm you know so I don't I don't want to screw them in now and cut them and get the pickups in because I think that's going to be once they're in I think that's going to be uh you know, you won't want to take them out when you've actually, because at the moment with the screws that long, 
I can actually see the screws but you can imagine when they're shorter and I've got the pickup in there and you're trying to put the screws in it's going to be a right pain so right basically um, you know it, it, it just fits in fine at the moment um, so I do the do the back pickup and then um, we'll uh, get the you know uh, get the pickup sort of partially mounted or at least we know the, the system works but um, like I say what's going to happen now is I've got to cut those screws down um, to roughly you know otherwise they'll be too high the pickup won't screw in far enough um, because it will hit the bottom of the pickup if I'm explaining it well enough um, so what I've got to do now is do the wire channels um, which is a bit awkward on these thin body guitars but um, do the wire channels for the pickup then we can put the pickup mount into rest sort of thing and uh, well let's get these wire channels done it's not my favorite job I must admit because yeah it's all a bit not 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 very technical kind of thing just a bloody long drill and like you know go through from the neck pocket I've drilled the first little bit through there but you've got to kind of keep the drill flat I mean I don't want to break through the you know the paper of the, the like sci-fi posters so you know just take it easy you don't want the drill to start wondering And check that you know you know you want to come out there sort of thing you know in the other pickup cavity so make sure you've not drilled past it and it hasn't come out because your drills obviously wondered so we we're up to about there so another half inch and we should be through yeah, there we go. so you can see I've come out there but the the drill actually has gone down a little bit because I mean it started off started off in there at, you know a bit up from the bottom of the pickup cavity and then it's gone through in there taking a bit the bottom and to be honest there's not a lot of room on these bodies because they're so thin and um, you have to be a little bit careful so you know if you'd have missed that cavity and gone underneath the drill would have carried on going out going down and you think oh it should be yeah, oh, oh gone through the bottom and uh, you know you've made a right old goof but um, yeah I mean I haven't done the um, uh, design for the for the, the the control plate and therefore the control cavity so I don't know I don't really want to drill this hole through here yet um, I mean it's going to be a bit bit of a struggle because um, you know I, I, I won't want to bring the control cavity over over here this bit because it's got the raised bit in the thing I, I just kind of just wanted the control cavity to be here so what I might actually do is drill through from the side of the guitar and come out in here and you know you'll just have to put a little plug in there which you won't notice on the on the end grain but if I drill through from this way I think I'll be through the bottom of the guitar before I reach the control cavity but I mean I haven't got a plan done for that yet so I'll leave that for now and uh, then we'll go but I, like I say I do think the plan will be to drill from the edge of the guitar I mean I might be able to you know put the jack socket on the back of the guitar there um, instead of having it in the front 
and then I can drill through whether that's quite a long way but if I put the jack socket down there I mean routed the, the control cavity first so you drill into the control cavity and then you can you know you can see where the drill is going to pick up at the other side of the control cavity and make sure everything is in line so that that will probably be my option um, but yeah so it's coming along now um, I honestly think probably the next bit is to start deciding on the control cavity and um, obviously I'm not going to be getting the um, aluminium that I want to make the cover until next week so I might make a plastic one in the meantime and um, see what it looks like on there and come up with a design so at least I can get the channel routed out I mean I deliberately didn't put any fancy raised bits on the background there um, because there'd be no point the control cavity going over it so it's looking quite good now all nice so yep I'll get back to you